now. It arouses great pity. Hey there. Hey, mister. Just can't stand it. Huh? What's it all got to do with us, anybody? <laughs> Wonderful. Well met, eh? You are. Just hey, listen. Incredulous. 
Hey, I beg your pardon, but you have business with me. Okay, so... Hey, listen! I'm just... incredulous. Huh, wonderful! Hey! You see... Then... Wonderful! Ah. All right, then. <laughs> oi! Oi! Right, then! What is it? Hmm. Wonderful. But that now what am I to do? Stop! Hang on, what if isn't that Now what am I to do? No. no. no I don't know why now. Well, Whoa. Man, eh? check this out. I can't believe this. He would have them all take what they please. This same atrocity all over again. Damn him. And damn his clown theocracy. He's in quite a state. Though I can hardly blame him, with everyone ordered to ransack his homeland. For now, how to approach him? Uh, excuse me? Can I ask you something? Hmm? What? Never seen a pagan before. I don't know much about divine relics. But I know all too well what it's like to see your homeland threatened. The divine relics are symbols of our faith. More than that, they are the soul of our culture, our history. Followers of the old native beliefs worship idols that are known to conduct magic, which they call divine relics. But unlike the igniters of modern times, they are primitive in make and function, and often dangerous. So said my studies, at least. Oh, far from it! 
Divine relics aren't primitive in the least. That's just Sanctus propaganda. Really, it's the opposite. Most of these relics are powerful beyond belief, and igniters are just our crude imitations of them. If you'd ever seen one yourself, you'd know the difference. They don't call them divine for nothing. With powers like that, they might as well have come from the gods. You're that songstress. Didn't expect to hear all this from you, after what you said for the crowd. Well, a job's a job. But as I'm sure you're aware, pagans aren't the only ones oppressed by the church. You really are well informed. And it sounds like you know something of oppression. Did you perhaps come from the Mage Academy? Details, darling. I've seen abuse of powers before, and I'd rather not see it again. The other candidates seem bent on taking relics by any means necessary. But you... you all seem different. To be fair, we are looking for one. The only relic we know by name right now is Draco Dios. The Lance of the Dragon God. So that's why you came up to me. I suppose anyone would want our homeland's greatest treasure. The Lance is no secret we're trying to hide. Truly, I hope mainlanders come by the scores to see it. in the World Tree's embrace, where the Dragon God sleeps. On a clear day, you can see it from this land. An island across the ocean. You mean Virga Island, then? It is a large island in the Inland Sea. Most of its inhabitants are Mustari, and it remains the only place in the land where Sanctism has not taken root. I'm not out to abolish sanctism myself. I just don't want everything we believe in to be destroyed. So that's why you're in this race. I thought I could change the world. And then I saw the truth. What a fool I was. I've not introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Edeni. Take my advice. Forget about Dracodius. We can't hand it over, and you'll never reach it anyway. What do you mean? No ship would carry you there, among the first of many reasons. Even so, it's no place for an outsider. It's time I stop chasing a fool's dream. I need to face reality. And if you're smart, you'll do the same. Well, sounds like Draco Dios is on Virga Island somewhere. Is there really no ship passage there? This is the biggest port in the kingdom. Tis true. His words reminded me. Thanks to both sea currents and cultural tensions, the only merchant ships passing Virga Island embark from Montario. But Montario is on the other side of the bloody sea. You can't seriously be suggesting we go there first and then loop back to Virga. We'd never make the deadline. Then let's Ballywell conquer this inland sea ourselves! <laughs> Don't worry, chums! I'm on the job! You worried about Lady Juna? Actually asking this time, not just prodding.
Shut up. Tell. You still don't trust them, do you? How can I? We've only known them for a matter of days. Look, the whole Gladell mess, you really think they're innocent? Hmm. Then let's go with them, yeah? Me and you? You do whatever makes sense to you, Del. You know I'll follow wherever you go. Hmm. <laughs> you never could keep your mouth shut, eh? What the? Wait a second. You're not saying this thing can sail now? Quite right. While you lot were hobnobbing at old Luis's soiree, I had his run all to myself. And believe you me, I got quite an eyeful. Came away full of ideas. After all, this old girl wasn't designed as a land runner alone. All about modular design, don't you know? Flexible jointage. So I did a bit of tinkering. But why? We'd not even spoken of the island until moments ago. Island, milady. Look at the map. What's our shortest route to Ontario, eh? A straight shot through the inland sea. Huh. A man has a point. That never dawned on me. Besides, I've kept my ears open. What? Here there be monsters and all that rot. You'll need more than a ship for these waters. You'll need a proper sea runner. Oh, right! Nuris, you weren't at the exhibition, so you wouldn't know. Forden already killed the big sea monster out there. It had a huge head! Really? Don't tell me you're making the trip in that. Why are you two here? Bodyguard duty, Lady Juna. We're along for the ride, especially since you're bound for some remote wild island. These poor newcomers are working so hard and you still can't trust them. Or is it me you don't trust? We're here on Master Luis's orders. I'm sure I don't have to outline the peck in order there. Or do you have a problem with us being around? Rather, we're running short on beds. Oh, don't worry. Del doesn't take up as much space as me. Oh, belt up. Besides, you really expect this rust bucket to survive a night at sea. If you don't like it, leave. Nobody's forcing you to come. <laughs> Looks like we're crewmates then. Not unlike a sea voyage for a bit of fun, yeah? This is a fine mess. Wasn't expecting them along. What do you think their angle is? They probably still suspect us. I agree. We definitely crossed a line with the whole Gladell incident. Suppose that's that, eh? I'll do a last check on her amphibials and make sure she's ship shape. Uh, give me a shout when you're ready. Right then. Ready to depart. Now then. What now?
All right, then. Let's go. Yeah? Don't say shy, this <laughs> That's fine. All right, then. Let's go. Young man, young man. Now, what am I to do? Well met, eh? Ready to depart. <laughs> Virga Island is this spot right here. Wonder how many days away it is. This. Oh. Actually moving. A fine effort. Was it ever in doubt? You're the master of the helm, my dear. Virga Island, eh? Hey? Well, I can say it's wholly foreign to me. Tis a land within an archipelago where many Mustari live. I've heard their faith involves a special maiden of some kind. How have they managed to avoid the Church's influence? I doubt they've the manpower or arms to fend off the Crown Theocracy. There's something there that could overturn history, as the Sanctists tell it. Something so damning they couldn't even afford their soldiers seeing it. So the rumors say at least, might just be a conspiracy theory. As for this dragon god's lance, we shall need to negotiate. If negotiations are even on the table. Oh, 
why all the fuss? Just kill them and take it. Nothing else works, yeah? Keep it simple. It's always kill, kill, kill with you two. Hey, Lord Luis's orders. Don't need to tell you, do I? Yet you'd impugn Count Luis's reputation with wanton massacre. Simple, was it? Ugh, give it a rest. Are we there yet? Hard to talk strategy with those two hanging around. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your ears on this! The elder boy candidate seems to have crossed the channel to the island on a gauntlet runner too! Is he all right? They say the waters are clear of monsters now, but... If he made it, that means my husband can go out fishing again, doesn't it? <laughs> I have to say, I expected at least one daredevil to try plowing straight through the inner sea, but I never thought it'd be that boy. That's the same lad who exposed that lady from Martira, isn't it? He's not bad. The Virga Island's infamous people. Treacherous. Even the Crown Theocracy struggled with them for years. So how will this shake out? <laughs> The festivities have just begun! The Gauntlet Runner takes to the water in its new form, setting out to the wide open sea. Their destination, Ferga Island, an enigmatic foreign land that not even the long arm of sanctism can reach. Not all present now would count themselves as allies. Will this prove difficult, or something else entirely? Speaking. As the sun dips below the horizon and the stars begin to reflect off the water's surface, the gauntlet runner reaches the shore, lurking below the surface in the black and fathomless deep are the eager eyes of predatory hunters. But the party, safe inside their gauntlet runner, relaxes from the burdens of their voyage, gazing out over calm waters.
All right. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Gauntlet Runner halts at a sandy hollow that suddenly arises from the sea. The towering seawall. It is not an island or a reef, but a mass of sand expanding below sea level. There is no sign of a water flow. There are many places in Oceania where the laws of nature fail, but here it is especially evident. The surface drops as though it were gouged out. Still, Best not to be distracted by the spectacular. Monsters roam the deep, and tales of people being dragged below are not uncommon. As the water sparkling in the setting sun begins to lose the light shimmer, the gauntlet runner reaches the calm surface of the reef. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours. What terrible rain! 
be a storm soon enough. Can this vessel withstand it? Let's do it better than me, at least. Suppose we do owe Forden, if only because he handled that sea monster. Closure, closure, etc. Did we hit a rock out there or something? Back in a mo, I'll go sneak a look outside. Those fool brothers are still abed, even in this tempest. <sighs> Bloody parapus. Almost makes one envy them. Right, I heard. You aren't too fond of the parapus. They both had horrible upbringings, those two. But they really do have kind hearts behind the glares. They've risked their lives for mine countless times. <laughs> one time, I asked what I could do to repay them, and they came over all red-faced. We'd like to hear you sing, Lady Juna. Your voice is awful pretty, Lady Juna. Is this a joke to you? You think an outcast Ujif is in no position to speak ill of the Paripus? What? No, I didn't mean... Bloody hell, how does anyone sleep on this old bucket? You feel that shaking earlier? Huh? Could cut the air and ear with a knife. What were you two on about? Everyone's life stories, I suppose. Indeed. Talking about how I dislike the Paripus. You and the rest of the world. Or do you think you're special? We don't have to keep dancing around it, do we, Del? Why can't we be straight with them? Just come out with it, yeah? Tell them you still ain't sure that stuff with Glodell was on the level. <sighs> if even we're suspicious, there's no way Lord Luis hasn't worked it out already. Not that it matters to me, anyway. Still, I had to make sure, see for myself whether Lady Juna is on our side or not. Come on, you two. Ah! Something's out there! Look outside! It's a monster! A great briny beast! Everyone to the deck, quick! What's happening? This changes nothing. We're still... Hmm? Is that a... human? Don't charge straight at it. <laughs> We've got the arms. We'll clear them out of the way. <laughs> got it. If we don't kill the thing, we're all sunk. Don't get used to it. legs, stick to the body, and take out what limbs you can. I don't know about you, but I'm not dying today. Let's get this over with. If this keeps up, the runner's wrecked. Can we get those giant legs off us?
I think not. This is just what I need. Howling wind! The wind's attracted, right? That should make things a little easier on us. Give me your aid! Hold nothing back! Show me true power! You faded! Not this skill. I shall be as a shield. Prepare! Push through! I'll keep Watch me! Another day. She can't fight at her full I shall vanquish evil. Run them through. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Not 
not bad at all. I admit, it feels good to get stronger. I continue to grow. Even I had more to learn. Power can be so intoxicating. Ugh, a new power to wield. We overcame it somehow. I can't believe this! There are still monsters out here! Ford lied! He... he lied to everybody! Either he lied... or he didn't know. Maybe the humans are spreading faster than anyone expected. Oh, first time we've seen you lot really cut loose. That sure was magic, even with no igniters. Guess that's the kind of power that kills humans. And you can do it too, Lady Juna. Well, I picked it up from him. You know I've a knack for improvising, love. But we'd never have gotten through this without you two helping us. Thank you. Uh, um, of course, my lady. You too, Fidelio. Don't mention it. Wouldn't have survived otherwise. Wait, something's amiss. I still hear water flowing, but it's coming from inside the runner. Blast! We're dipping awfully low! Getting a bit soggy in here, chums! Hold on, we're sinking! You've got to be kidding! Bail the water! You two, help us! What? You can't just order us... Oh, this bloody rust bucket! Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. <laughs> You're right. What do you want? Oh. No. A word of warning. Well... 
listen. Leave. As the clear surface gives way to the glassy ink of darkness, the gauntlet runner reaches a remote island. The party gets a good night's rest, grateful for the still land that does not sway them at its whims. to pick. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Luis has sent an emissary to Virga Island. As reported by a crier, it's the elder boy who brought Joanna to the judging. Hmm. So he stands with Luis then. No doubt he seeks Dracodias. A gambit to steal the public's gaze, perhaps. Taking a prize from the only land beyond the church's reach. <laughs> Laughable. The reason we leave those barbarians alone is that we've nothing to gain from them. Mm. Your eminence? Mm, merely a passing thought. Let him chase the lance. It changes nothing. With the dawn of Saints Day, your eminence's authority will be unshakable as the mountains. As long as we tell the public that these divine relics truly originated in Sanctism, yes, that should do. The candidates gathered at the Saints Day Festival will be under the protection of the King's magic. Some of them may use that as a shield to sow violence and discord. I am aware, your eminence. Please, leave everything to your humble servant. Oh ho! Escaping the threat of the sea monster, the party rides the currents of the inland sea to their destination, Virga Island. Virga is a word given to the island by the mainland, meaning unknown. 
uncivilized. But its inhabitants give this name no purchase. Put another way, we are trespassers from a country that has unilaterally regarded the islanders as heretics. To forget this is to invite pointless conflict. As though it knows it is unwelcome, the gauntlet runner glides silently onto the island's less populated rear shore. I can't take this heat. It's enough to cook a man alive. Ugh. All my air fur is stuck together. Do we really have to go this way? There was a beautiful beach just over there. Chin up now, my lady. Easy to get a good backstab when you're coming up behind them, see? There will be no stabbing, back or otherwise. Honestly. It's at least true that coming at them head on would only alarm them. First, we need to find out where this lance is. You can bet the runner won't be spotted here, eh? Got the wide ocean on all sides. The old girl's not exactly unscathed from the beastie's clutches, so I'll stay back for a spot of repairs. Good luck on the lance hunt, what? Who's there? Are you from the outside? What's wrong? I thought I heard a voice. A voice? Whose? All that salt air gets your head. Our chances out here already aren't looking too good. So, how do we find this lance? Ideally, we blend in with the locals, gather information. But if they really are all Mustari, that might be a bit tricky. Let's see. To start with, we could try staying hidden and observing the village from afar. Sounds like a right hustle. How many days would you have us playing hide and seek? Fair point. How long can we actually stay on this island? Well, given the deadline for arriving in Altbury, it would be best to get the lance and leave by September the 5th. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Let's go. look familiar to you? We may be a bit lost. Uh. You're kidding! We can't afford to get lost on some godforsaken island! This is a disaster! Oh, I'm sweating through my outfit! And these weird bugs. I've had enough! <sighs> what I give for a snack and a cold tub to dump me head in. Need you voice every little complaint. You are not the only ones enduring this trek. Quiet a moment. Running water nearby. Sounds like an open space. Could be a natural spring of some kind. What? Really? Let's head that way. Phew. I suppose we might as well if we're lost. Much clearer than the capital's water, too. Oh, brilliant. I could use a dip to get the salt Hold off on. me. <laughs> Who are you? Can you hear me? Then surely you must be a messenger of the dragon god. There's something in it. I'm imagining things. Could it be a villager? You must be the... Priestess! Hmm? Hey, Del! Let's go! Mainlanders! You're not of this island! Wait, listen! 
seize them! <laughs> Behave yourselves. Now, you. You're a candidate for the throne, are you not? Hmm. He had to steal Dracodeos, no doubt. And not content with that, you befouled the priestess's cleansing pool. We need hear nothing further. You shall all be executed. Fastest trial I've had. Calm down. First off, you can't kill a candidate. Have you not heard of the king's magic? You beg for your life in vain, wretch. Hail. I'm told the priestess is ready. Accept your fate. You're not getting out either way. What do we do now? It seems the brothers have fled. Perhaps they've gone to report to Neurus. Hmm. I doubt it. Those thugs are here for the Lance alone. They care nothing for us. We can work with that. Can't return without the Lance anyway. But I'd rather see if we can break ourselves out, instead of counting on them to save us. By the way, anyone else find it strange that they recognized a candidate at a glance? I wasn't expecting news to travel this far. Probably my fault, I'm afraid. They had a lot of questions, and they weren't, uh, gentle about asking. Well, fancy meeting you here. What did you do this time? Oh, you wound me, sir. Uh, I was hoping the word of the crown theocracy might be worth something here. Turns out, they prefer chains to questions. But why are you here? Why else? I heard some helpless, boneheaded twit of a candidate cross the waters to Virga Island, so I naturally had to follow. I'd thought stowing away on that Mastari candidate ship might get me safely on the island, and, well. And now who's the helpless twit? This is ridiculous! Why would a crier go to such lengths anyway? Seemed as good an opportunity as any. I wanted a peek behind the Sanctus Curtain, see what the truth really is. For now, we may as well be patient. You'll have your opening soon enough. The people here... Well, you'll find they aren't as monolithic as they'd like. Have you heard? The Sanctus Church has ordered its adherents to seize all divine relics. Those zealots go too far. Surely this must be the reason for the Dragon God's wrath. Don't be alarmed, everyone. Please remain calm. Master Adeni. There are trespassers upon our island, from ships other than the trade vessels. But we have already captured them. Reportedly, one is a candidate, and one is a crier from the Sanctus Church. They seek Dracodios, the lance of the Dragon God. Until now, the Church has hesitated to intrude in our homeland, we can only assume they are making their move. I knew it. They think they're untouchable. No offense is beneath them. That damned Vaughn. He's not just after our relics. He would silence us forever. Master Adeni, put them to death! Let us see justice served! Wait! Our captives have done nothing to hurt any of the islanders. Why do you hesitate? If they would pervert our dearest beliefs, then they deserve only to be sacrificed. Our livestock are all maddened by disease. Our seas are infested with grotesque horrors. And now, even our fields lie dead and fallow. The Dragon God must be appeased, else we shall never survive his wrath! It has...
has been our way since time immemorial. When disaster strikes, we offer a sacrifice to the dragon god that he might ease our woes. It is the most basic of our teachings. Everyone, calm down. All this talk of justice, of sacrifice. Master Adeni, would you see us repeat the tragedy of the past? With all respect, you abandoned your chase for the throne. You returned to your rightful home. Surely you have accepted that our traditions are the only way. Because of your indecision, because you vaulted in your faith to the Dragon God, your father and mother both. I will have silence. Master Adeni, please, the sacrifice. We cannot simply suffer in silence. My brother, do not fear. I have just purified myself for the spring. I am ready to serve as our people's sacrifice. Yufa. I am a priestess. I have known from birth that my life's greatest impact would be as an offering to the Dragon God. serve my village in a way the priestesses in times of peace could not. If our island might be saved, I will gladly give my life for it. Oh, bless you, Priestess Yufa. We will not forget your sacrifice. This will surely appease the Dragon God. You are our last hope. Priestess Yufa, our salvation, our future. Prepare the ship. I will accompany her to the altar in the Dragon Temple. When Dracodios rests. You catch that? The Dragon Temple? Sounds like that's where we'll find our lads. I did a bit of reading on Virga Island once. Army reports say it's surrounded by an archipelago, otherwise uninhabited, and one of them islands is nothing but a massive temple. Not another soul on them? Strange lot, these pagans. Gotta be bloody stupid to build your big important temple out where nobody can get to it. Could be. Or maybe they weren't the ones who built it. Either way, we'll need a ship. Sounds like we better hurry and bail our new crewmates out. All this stink in the square probably means less guards on duty. Ugh. Come on, Del, we can't leave him high and dry. The fair lady Juna likes them, don't she? And the fair lady's the only one we have to rescue. Awful cold, Del. Not getting attached now, are you? You knew going in they might be our traitors. Look, you want to work together, then let me do the thinking, right? I've got all this under control. Oh. Hey, Del, you're not still hurting from the sea battle, are you? I'm fine.
We'll wait till nightfall. Shadowy business, all this. Lady Juna. Let's get those bindings off. Easy does it now. Calm down, you amateurs. I'd hoped you'd come back for us. We know where the lance is. Let's move. Wait. Aren't you going to untie the others? We're your bodyguards, not theirs. What? Since when do you follow orders to the letter? I've already told you we can't trust these people, and now it's clear we can't even trust them to protect you. He did a fine enough job saving your life out at sea. Del! He's one of us now. Lord Luis gave him direct personal orders, and you'd still leave him to die. I promised Lord Luis I'd keep an eye on him too. If you get him killed, I'm the one who's failed. Hear, hear. Three appropriately stealthy cheers for cooperation. And I'd be very much obliged if some generous spirit could get me untied too. Ugh, better to let a church leech rot. You're annoying and you talk too much. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Funny thing though, I get more chatty the more distress I'm in. And I'm quite beside myself here. We could just shut him up permanently. No, Del. You don't want to leave a mess. If things get dicey, we've got some meat shields at the least, eh? Gonna need all the manpower we can get if we want that lance. Hmm. Is the lance somewhere dangerous? Well, about that. Turns out this dragon god might be a bit more real than we thought. And more bent out of shape. They're sacrificing some village lass to it. And the crowd was scared stiff besides. We can't rule out that this dragon's more than a folktale. So we're to face a dragon? Well, that's just lovely. Untie everyone this instant. Or do you fancy better chances with fewer swords? Oh, fine, I get it. Just give me a second. Oi, kid. Don't make me regret this. Nice to be back on the team. You're completely mental, you know that? Just don't drag us down. Fine, just get over here and I'll let you loose. Oh, you're going last. Considering the size of the island, there's only the one settlement. The chief's young, too, goes by Edeni or something. Edeni? Was he not the Mastari candidate we met before? I'd no idea he was this island's ruler. He and the sacrificial maiden are headed for the temple on one of the deserted islands. That's where we find the lance. Oh, and the girl marked for death is his sister. His own sister? Something about appeasing the dragon god's anger. All these islanders worship it, and they say the calamities come from its fury. Is that true? Of course not. Just don't know whether all this superstition is rooted around an actual dragon or a made-up one. Fair point. I'm curious about this Draco Dios being a divine relic myself. If it was found in that temple, then the temple's probably an ancient ruin. Might be the perfect den for a dragon. Should this creature exist, mortal sacrifice is beyond all reason. No torment is worth taking an innocent life for. Oh, that's rich from a fallen knight. You think nobody makes sacrifices out there in the real world? 
or is all that below you, eh? You ask me, I say at least these people are doing what needs to be done. Huh, fair enough. Though it would seem beyond the pale, it is not our scale of morality that measures them. Yet... Yet I refuse to stand idly by while innocent lives are at stake. Who cares about what they do with their lives? We're here for the Lance. Got enough problems without you trying to fix theirs. <laughs> These people offer up their very lives for peace. They'd only ever told me these lands were wild and uncivilized, but it's like seeing sanctism reflected in a mirror. We'll get the spear, of course, but we won't let anyone die. That should be good enough. We've been saying it since the beginning. We help anyone in need, no exceptions. Right, my friend? Yeah, of course. That settles it. Indeed. Tis the path we've chosen. Let us withdraw to the Sea Runner first. It shall bear us across the waters to this temple island. <laughs> Go on. Give them a chance. <laughs> Please, help my sister. Wait, he's... Please help my sister Yufa. The temple full of Makla. Pull yourself together, man. He's barely breathing. Did he just say Magla? I wonder what happened. We need to get him to the Gauntlet Runner. No, it is too deep a wound for its capabilities. To the village, then. What, are you mad? You just broke yourselves out of that damned place. We cannot leave him to die. I don't understand you lot. No, this could work out for us. He's the island's chief, right? If we save his life, the whole village might come around on us. What are you talking about? We already know where the lance is. All we have to do now is take it. And how about this? I'll follow him because I'm assigned to keep an eye on him. And you have to keep an eye on me. Because you're my bodyguards, right? <sighs> Fine. Be my guest. But if it comes down to you or the lance, you know I'll have to take the lance. Whatever happens, I can't trust anyone but my family. Well, Batlin, looks like you'll have to repay the favor a bit earlier than expected. Go tell Nurus what's going on. Getting a bit messy, this. Not that I mind. Consider the favor returned. The Gauntlet Runner's just further down, right? Right. We'll carry this man back to the village. Give me a hand. Where am I? Chief! I'm still... alive. You're in one of my spare rooms at the inn. You see, these people brought you here. Wonders never cease. It's you. But you were being hunted. How did you manage to return safely? Two of my companions acted as decoys to draw the soldiers away. That was all it took for us to sneak in. Chief, what happened? Where is your sister? We made it to the temple, but the air was thick with magla. Some of the island's beasts have turned feral. You mean... the Melancholia set in? They made short work of our guards. Yufar and I were separated. I was the only one who fled to the sea. My word! Then we need to gather more troops. If we don't act, the ritual... No. Our soldiers cannot stand against those horrors. We'd only be sending more to their deaths. But... Then we can do the honors. We've our own reasons to see the lance, and such monsters do not frighten us. But there's something I need to ask you first. 
Assuming we find your sister, what would you have us do with her? Are we ensuring you complete the sacrificial ritual? Or are we bringing her back? <sighs> Please, bring her home. When we left for the Temple Island, I'd intended to let Yufa escape. But when I saw no fear or hesitation in her eyes, I... I faltered. That's when I realized. It's not just the fate of the island that we've placed on her shoulders. She's been trying to bear all our fears and anxieties. Her life is in your hands. Even if her sacrifice would save us, I don't care. Please, save her. <laughs> well said. Spoken like a true leader. Leave it to us. I pledge we will see her safely returned. You've no objections, I trust, Captain? Yes. Let's get her back. Right. We're not in the business of abandoning people. Right. We'll save your sister. In return, though, would you be willing to lend us Dracodios? So be it. What? That is the very symbol of our faith! If they've the strength to overcome the Temporal's trials, then they could have already taken the lance for themselves. Yet still, they seek permission. I trust them. It seems like they really do believe in what they say. But they're not like us. They're outsiders. It doesn't matter what tribe they are. They are people just like us. If the race on the mainland taught me anything, it's that. Wait, it'll take more than a day to save her, right? Not to be morbid, but will your sister survive that long? She knows those halls better than I do. If she's found a safe enough chamber, she can stay out of sight. And I made sure to bring food to the temple when we left. She could survive for even four weeks. Yufa is a priestess. She knows her life is too valuable to the ritual not to keep going. Your offenses will be pardoned. Anything you need, I'll try to provide. So please, save Yufa. Well... Glad we talked our way out of being thrown back in a cell. This place is rather cozy, especially compared to a prison. To be free of the bugs is its own comfort. Wait, weren't you staying in Bryalhaven? What kind of rundown hovels do you board in? Finally, we may come and go as we please. Even if we must bow to Luis's whim, we need not draw the same ire. I know, right? But lifting the prince's curse will only be the beginning. The public has to recognize him as the rightful king, too. Considering the road ahead, it might do to help as many people as we can while we hunt the lance. And ideally, keep the other candidates in check, too. All done with negotiations, are ya? I don't know what we'd do without you. It's amazing how you can lead those guards on such a long chase and turn up none the worse for wear. <laughs> No one alive can catch a couple of paraphus lads in the woods. Our job's to get the lance. I assume that hasn't changed. Then nothing else matters. Well then, let's lay out our situation. Our destination is the Dragon Temple, built on a nearby deserted island. Once there, we search the temple for the divine relic, Dracodios. And while we're in there, we'll also be looking for the village priestess, Yufa. The hell we will. I thought we made it clear we were here for the Lance. According to Edeni, the Lance's actual place in the temple is a close guarded secret, known only to the priestess herself. Never simple, is it? We've got two problems to worry about. Firstly, by now, the temple's positively awash with melancholia. We should expect monsters, and lots of them. And secondly, there is a possibility that this dragon god of theirs is an actual living, and therefore angry, dragon. Hope we don't have a battle like that ahead of us. But we'd better make sure we don't lose if we do. And be quick about it, yeah? If you miss your deadline, Lord Luis will assume you're all traitors. That puts our deadline in... 17 days. Beyond that, we can't say if the priestess would survive. Um, your pardon? You all, uh, 
You're going to save Priestess Yufa. <laughs> Wouldn't have to if you hadn't sent her to die. Yes, I know. You're exactly right. But you have to understand, not everyone here wanted sacrifice. To see a girl her age going willingly to die. She's as young as my own child. It's not right. So please. We will see the girl safely home. You have our word. It's a strange irony. We came only for the lance, but even that pursuit has earned us a chance to save a life. Oddly familiar. You sought me intent on capture, and instead convinced me to join you. You have a knack for opening doors others have closed. <laughs> well, let's get some rest for tomorrow. Getting lost in the wild and captured by soldiers really takes it out of you. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Faith in Lady Yufa. Leave it out, mate. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. Understood. What have we got here? Now then. Yeah. <laughs> 
Indeed. What do you want to do? Well, isn't that something? Hey, mister! What'll it be? Now then, now then, now then, now then, now then, now then. Welcome. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Now then. Welcome. Now then, now then, now then. Such a sky shown shoulder. Oh. We're all ready for departure. Time to save that bally damsel in distress, eh? So this is the Dragon Temple. It's not too far from Virga Island, but we have to consider the currents. Now then. This place here. Let's see here. You would pursue peril. Ha <laughs> ha! Tally ho then! So we bring the fight to them. Yes, 
someone. Here we go. Then... Navigating the archipelago's currents north of Virga Island, the Dragon Temple comes into view. It is dedicated to the dragon god, Et. The wind carries the unsettling cries of beasts over the water, ensuring that even reaching the temple will be a trial. The gauntlet runner pulls into the shores of the isolated island amidst surges of sinister magma. We're here. Maybe the tide was with us this time, but that was a much quicker trip than I thought. What's up, Del? You seasick? No. And keep your eyes on them, not me. Don't want them pinching the lance and doing a runner. You really worry too much, mate. Once you've got doubts in your head, you don't know how to let them go. That's the Dragon Temple. Just as I thought. I've seen this exact view in historical art. It's as ancient as ruins come. Perhaps the reason the Sanctus Church doesn't want anyone near the island is that they want whatever is inside to stay buried. I'd avoid it too if I could. The place looks totally overrun with magla. We're definitely gonna find some monsters in there. This melancholia aura is most ominous. What is this magic? And from whence is it born? We only ever see it when faced with grave burdens. Might not be unrelated. We know magic is possible without an igniter. In other words, Magla can be controlled by the mind alone. You venture that it springs from mortal minds? Hey! You lot about finished! Let's get on with it! He's right. Let's hurry on. giant tree, right? But it almost feels like it's radiating pure magla. We shall force our way through, if we must. The wood turns aside all steel. It's no normal tree. The Melancholia's influence, maybe. That's the best you've got, old man. Too sloppy by half. I'll show you how it's done. Ugh. Del, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm sound. Just dizzy, that's all. Hey, Del! Whoa! You're burning up! Why? Allow me. injured. It is infected and inflamed. What possessed you to hide this? I said I'm fine. Stop wasting time. A wound-born fever can turn fatal. We should turn back. She's right, Del. We've got to get that looked at. Basilio? Uh, are you gonna listen to me or not? Oh, please. You don't get to die like an idiot. From an infected foot of all things. Learn to rely on your allies. That's what a real warrior does. Sorry, Del. I can't afford to listen to you this time. 
you damned fool. We need to get back to the village. Every second counts. Teleporting might be our best bet. Right. We'll be seen, but we don't really have a choice right now. We can't get into the temple like this anyway. Let's ask around back at the village to find out if there's a way in. Basilio, carry him to the bunk inside the gauntlet runner. Also, once we get moving, don't leave the room or look outside. We're charging home full throttle, understood? What? Uh, right, got it. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Nonetheless, Here. But why? What? Please, I beseech you. Oh, I am grateful.
Please, I beseech you. Let's give it a shot. <sighs> hmm. All right, then. Let's go. Cheers. Fancy a bit of info? Hey! Between us. Hmm. Oh, isn't this a dilemma? Leave it out, mate. Let us have faith in Lady Yufa. All right, then. Let's go. Cheers. Want in on this? And right there's a labyrinth. Cheers. Do. 
Do you look?
fand sie bei Windfall. Wohnt ihr noch nicht? Where to? Where to? Let's go. Is there any shelter from this? All right, then. Go. were so enamored by my songs, they opened up to me a bit. They were still rather sheepish, but I simply can't leave them hanging, can I now? Apparently they've been plagued by monsters raiding the tombs just off the coast. I dare say that sounds right up our alley, doesn't it? If you'll help, I'll even make it interesting. I'll let you in on the secrets of a songstress. I'd be happy to be your understudy. Right? Every heart and mind has a key, and unlocking them is a skill any kingly candidate should know. Well then, our monsters are to be found on an island the locals call the Orbwise Path. Their legends say that if you offer your dead to the snakes there, their souls ascend to become guardian deities. Problem being, the monsters are eating the snakes, which has left the bereaved unable to complete the ritual. The sadness in their eyes was just too much to bear. You know? Oh, and evidently, there's some sort of offering there that's yours for the taking. If you'd like it. Well, have I piqued your interest? Do these people a favor, and I'm sure they'd rally behind you. And I take it? Brilliant! I'll inform the others. I'm sure we'll be able to handle it. Music to my ears! I'll tell you what. I'll throw in a little something extra for you. This one's important. Here's 
here's the place, if you're interested. And right there's a labyrinth. Here's where we are now. Oh, and do bring me along when you go, will you? We can tackle it whenever you're ready. Finished yet? Have my thanks. Hmm. Welcome. Intriguing offer. Right? Splendid. Understood. Okay then. All right then. Let's go. Hmm. Ah. Fancy.
You've come. I'm sorry. You've come. I thank you. Do the trick. Heads held high, everyone. Stand strong. Hey, we're me. Come forth, royal soul. Well, I sure do. Behold this power. Gale. I shall rule the battlefield. Uh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. General. My Keep aim is let justice prevail. I'll run you oh, through. Right. Let's go. Don't fast, dancer. this. My well, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. This one will show you. This should be good. You hit their weakness. I shall no hold them down, The power of ice. Someone, quick, get her back on her feet! 
Do I need to use it? Let's try this. Time for my grand Don't can't take any more faster. Someone heal him. Can't let it go on you. I owe you. I'm obliged. Captain, I shall, I shall vanquish evil. evil. You hit their weak point. Keep Observe it up, the enemy. This should help. We knew you'd help. Helpful as ever. Thank you. Only oh. a flesh wound. We got away. Oh. This should work. Time for my dragon bird to behold this power. This might be too much. Be a waste to let this be. That helped. I owe you. Trust me. No holding back. You hit the weak point. Let keep it up. Justice prevail. This won't do. Charging in to the rear guard. Captain, with these blades in hand. I'll destroy you! You look like you're about to drop! 
moving to the Rita, rear. Your speed's down. Make sure sure now. I shall stepping back. Hulkenberg's moving slower. Let's try this. That helped. I'm obliged. That helped. My aim is ever true. From our provisions. Thanks. Yeah, Falling back. They slowed you down. This should work. I owe you. Plus me. That helped. Let's get on with it! You can do this! Be frozen! You hit their weak point! My Keep aim is control. ever true! Gala! I crush you! It's okay. We can do this. I won't hold back! I've got just the dance for you! Seems the wise move. I stand ready. The power of Garda. I'll, I'll be fine. Such heights. Ah, I didn't know I had it in me. 
Marvelous. I feel stronger already. Good. I'm still getting stronger. Ugh. A new power to wield. I have retained my edge. Thank goodness. <sighs> Even so. Ha! That is true. Many thanks. Now then. Oh, 
Just you. My apologies. You. Fine then. Thank you. As it is. Say. Well. My thanks. You give me hope. And then... Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Try not to die. All right. Yes. We ought to proceed with caution.
Let us have faith in Lady Yufa. Excuse me. Aha. Uh -huh. right. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Fascinating. I'm counting. To greater heights. Fascinating. Steady effort is key.
it is. on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Could make camp. We have a pending request there. Let's be off. It's your call. Great. Let's move out. What to pick? The truth is. Truth is...
Yes. Hmm. Thank you. Coming into view is the village of Ligno, a frequent stop for capital-bound peddlers and merchants, experienced traders who have withstood the trials of all the world's cultures and customs gather here with rare goods found nowhere else. Though the village has waned in light of the influx of monsters, it remains an important hub of commerce. Here, in this corner of the world, the Gauntlet Runner arrives. Giving it some thought?
The Gauntlet Runner arrives at an encampment, and sensing no imminent threats, they breathe a collective sigh of relief. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours. All right, then. All right, then. Let's go.
<laughs> Goodness. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? All right. All right then. Runner finds itself at the Scoundrel's Hold, a cave system beneath the sand and rock, dug out by bandits over untold years. There were once treasures hoarded in the sprawling paths, but with the arrival of the monsters, only a vast labyrinth remains. The party wanders into the caves, now merely the wreckage of the bandits' dreams. Is this the place?
Okay, then. Let's go. That'll do it.
careful. is key. We made short work of them. <laughs> How's that? I can feel greater power within. <laughs> Amazing! Great moves back there. Such <laughs> skill. Push through. Impressive. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Nice. I feel good. What an incredible fight. Whoa! Now that's what I call treasure. Your training has paid off. Right. We we'll have to settle end. this quick. Let's go. Win! You hit their weakness. Then you're opening up. Not more! I swear to you, big guy! Only one blade in half! Finish them off and we're clear. Greater heights. A new means of protection. Our foes are not vanquished. Be on our guard. Look stronger already. Tremble before 
me. I have retained my edge. <laughs> Careful. Ah. We've got company. <laughs> All right. How's that? Amazing. Great moves back there. Ah. That should come in handy. Pocket it.
very decent result. Abilities feel stronger. What right now? All right. Let's head back. <laughs> hey. Okay then. Right. Speaking of... Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Look at this. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. Let us have faith in Lady Yufa. All right, then. Where to? Let's go! I'm just... incredulous. And what am I doing here? I won't be forgiving Excuse that me? anytime soon. Let's 
go. All right, then. Let's go. What now? Okay. What's the plan? Now then. Just a moment. That is it. And there's a campground. Here we are. Ah, uh, danger. Just a moment. Let's see. Let's see here. It's your call. So we bring the fight to them. to pick. Don't lose focus. In days gone by... Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. I see. To greater heights.
I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. Right. I could get used to this. All right. All right. This one's important. Until next time. Ah, how good of you to come. You'll come again. Come on. 
Ben. Got it. All right, then. Let's head there right away. Navigating the archipelago's currents once more, the Dragon Temple again comes into view. It is dedicated to the Dragon God, Ent. The Gauntlet Runner pulls into the shores of the isolated island amidst surges of sinister bad luck. What do you think? Can you take this one, please? Hey! to wield. Impressive as ever. 
Let's stash that somewhere set. No way! I must. What can I do? What's up? Trust in me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Nice! <sighs> Emperor. Doesn't it seem like... Hmm. 
Not expected that. Ah! Exemplary. Come on! Oh, right! We did it! 
we can use nearby. nearby. Looks like we managed to rid ourselves of them. They 
noticed us. On your guard! <laughs> Amazing! Great moves back there. Someone here. It's you. I believe we met at the spring. My name is Euphasia. I am priestess of the Dragon God, but you may call me Eufa, if it pleases you. To see you now, you seem largely unscathed. You have hidden yourself well, Priestess. This place is devoid of monsters. Almost uncannily so. I sought the room least affected by Magla. We of the Mustari are blessed with a third eye that can see magic's flow. But more importantly, why are you here? Adeni asked us to help you. We're here in the stead of the island soldiers. So my brother is safe, thank goodness. Then I trust your word. Please, help me complete the ritual for the island. Wait, girl. We want no part of this sacrifice. We're here to take you back. Twas your brother's own behest. If you doubt us, then you may seek your answers from him. My brother would have you stop me. But why? This is so crazy to think he doesn't want his sister to die. But what happens if I return? The island's magla royals. Our people are tormented by horrors from the sea. Even the chaos must be quelled. And if I stand as sacrifice, no one else will need to. A fire burns in you, girl. It's a valor any knight would be proud to wield. And I should know. But if you're to risk your life, should... Is all this really happening because of that dragon god? What? But... The perils that grip the island, they are born of the same magic that floods this temple. We've seen the same phenomenon across the nations. This affliction isn't isolated to your islands. I... Even so, surely, I... How about this, then? We'll get you safely to the altar, and see what we can figure out there. You know where it is, don't you? Well, yes. Let's see what's really going on back there for ourselves. We've got business with this lance of yours, too. She's right. No point in stopping here. Is that okay, Captain? We'll protect you. this island, we will do so together.
what you want with Dracodios. No. Whatever your answer, it hardly matters for the sacrifice. I will trust all of you as envoys of my brother. Besides... My third eye sees the flow of Magla keenly. There is something unusual about the Magla in your wake. It brings to mind descriptions of the heroes of old. about archetypes then we must not disgrace their legacy let us proceed with all due care Down. There's more of them. That was the last. I can't believe. Hey. And that would be of use. Exemplary. Push through. <laughs> yeah, nice work. <sighs> hey.
mean to say? Got it.
I can feel greater power within. Foes have fallen. Just as I... Find. Keep your wits about you. all of them. We're safe for the time being. We 
spotted. Grenades at the ready. <laughs> Yeah, that should come in handy. Hey, do one. This. Ah. <laughs> 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 I have never known such heights. We cannot avoid the bullet. How's that? Ready. We made short work of them. This looks valuable. Now that's what I call treasure. This is bad. They're on to us. Look at that! growing. Let's push through! I can feel the power coursing through me. Fine! Add it to the collection!
I think they see us. Amazing! Great moves back there. Cat! We cannot avoid this fight. Stand ready. They found us! They noticed us. On your guard! Let's stash that somewhere safe. We cannot avoid this fight. Stand ready. We made short work of them. That's not half bad. We found it. Get ready, everyone. Not bad. Head to the through. This looks valuable. Whoa! Now that's what I call treasure! Ah. Types abilities feel stronger. Push through. I can feel greater power within. Don't you think it's past time to heal up? That 
that's the end of it. I hope. Trust in me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Nice! Marvelous! <laughs> I feel stronger already! Alright, how's that? Alright, we did it! There they are. <laughs> Let us settle I this! Move. I'm all prepared. I've got just the dance for you. You might say it's to die for. Watch me! Wells within me. Acquired a new power. Steady effort is key. What now? I see. Fascinating. I'm counting on you. Retained my edge. This power. is I see fascinating I'm counting speak. Push through. 
through. That worked out. Keep it up. through me. All set? Yeah. 
Greater power within. Nice find. Looks like it could be useful. Right now.
<laughs> that was neatly done. Right. Got it. me 
right there. Get him, quick! This is bad. Go! Quick! I shall vanquish evil! I call the lightning! Hit your weak point! Keep it up! This is just what I need! Oh, power of heroes! Nothing less. Look at that.
Push through. Hey, you want Come on. Push through. All right. Come on. This power feels stronger still. That's all right. How's that? I can feel your power pulsing through me. Trading has paid off. All right, how's that? that hurt. I can feel greater power within. The source. Not bad. That was neatly done. Let's toss it later. Push through! Nice! You're gaining strength! I think we're in the clear. Yeah. 
We made short work of them. On your guard. They've noticed us. Nice. I bet we'll find a use for that. Damn, they're onto us. Hey, you found something. Hard one. We've been spotted. On your guard. Push through. That worked out. Keep it up. Not bad. I'm sure you'll find it useful. I don't see. Good count on you. I think that's all of them. That'll do it. 
Stash that somewhere safe. Say. 
التحت سو فيري ويل Nice find. Looks like it could be useful. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find a use for it. this island for the lance i know but why risk your very lives for it well we've come this far in together i suppose she deserves to know something at least there is someone we aim to save one who was ambushed in shadow cursed to die and the blackguard responsible for this cruelty now seeks our land's throne If we are to thwart this tyrant, we must first ply him with power and favors. That is why we seek Dracodios. So you do not bid for the throne for yourself. I had heard that the mainland's aspirants were all seeking relics for their own gain in the race. my own parents My mother and father served as the priestess and island chief before my time They died in an accident out to sea more than 10 years past We knew they'd set sail to seek the dragon god but we never knew why they made the journey at such a time when no ritual was needed hear all of you now I think I might understand perhaps your aims are not so different from theirs they sought to question the ritual itself whether these sacrifices held any meaning that way they might protect their dear daughter yet there are those in the village who must suffer and doubt in the dragon god's ways My brother left for the mainland claiming he'd change us for the better. Your parents were not alone in their love for you. There are others on the island who would see you live. 
And truly, I'm grateful. But as a priestess, even surrounded by such chaos and despair, I have already known such joy and freedom. To me, offering my life is no sacrifice. Those born into blessing must give back in turn. Such a duty is no more than simple common sense. It is the only way to live. Well, that settles it. I'm getting you out of here. Deal with it. Wait, but did you not hear a word I just said? <laughs> oh, we heard. But fools like us rarely listen. The deepest part of the temple lies just ahead. It is the Altar of the Twelve, where the dragon god Et slumbers. What is this really sinister voice? There is unquestionably something totally not good back there. This magla. It feels like that of a normal dragon. But somewhat... different. What is this? Well, that's why we're here. Let's go. I don't like this. Ready? Was a dragon after all. I thought this thing needed a priestess to summon it. Is that the lance? We are in no condition to claim it. Fire and flame. Has even the dragon god succumbed to melancholia? No. I think this is something worse. Look, on its back. Something clings to it. A human. Is that the fiend behind this chaos? That's the worst double act I've ever seen. Look at its eyes. Its mouth, like it's shielding itself, or... Like it refuses to confront anything, or almost like... You forget back! We've got bigger problems than the ritual! This thing wants to eat us! You... you would fight our god! What can we do but defend ourselves? Yufa! I... I'm... Look out! Yeah. <laughs> 
to assume. I was quick to judge. But your rights are not acts of barbarism. Yours is a proud heart. But still, see the truth. Is this your god? Martyrs, who desires tragedy. Is that truly a god worthy of your devotion and faith? <sighs> Arise now, priestess! Have you come here only to be saved? Or will you find purpose beyond death to stand and fight as a savior? <sighs> I want to! O oh, Lodestar, ye torn maiden of faith, O oh, thou anguished traveler! <laughs> Thy long stagnant stance have finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Insecurities become thy light. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path, awaken. as a team. That thing on its back! That 
that's the human possessing him, right? Yes, it must be. If we strike at the human precisely, we may be able to separate them. Everyone, you need not hold back. We fight to save the dragon god, Et. And I... I shall fight with all I am. We're not sacrificing anyone. Come on, team, we fight together. This way I ask for your aid. You can do this. Come forth now. Together. Together then. Say so myself. I feel stronger. I admit, it feels good to get. Huh? I have never known such heights. Stronger. I found new power. A new ability. <laughs> the dragon. to its sacred vessel. Legend has it that while in its vessel, that's when the Dragon God's power is greatest and weakest when it takes to raging wing. So if it has a true form, you see it now before you. And here, 
is our village's divine relic, Dracodios, Lance of the Dragon God. It was rusty and warm, but now it almost gleams. So dragons aren't just magical beasts, they're a manifestation of pure magla. My sister's research, she was right. You all had the right of it. All these tragic calamities, they are not born of the Dragon God's wrath. And maybe they arose from the temple's melancholia. Perhaps that human was the source. It is not the first time. Thinking back on it now, a human has always been at the heart. You think humans are what's causing all of this? No, I don't think that's quite it. Something about that monster, the way it instinctively tried to shield its eyes and ears. It was as if we faced the living past of the Mustari people itself. The Mustari reject the world beyond ours, lost and comforted by ignorance. And in adversity, it is our god we cling to as cause and answer to our suffering. Maybe we have only ourselves to blame. A self-inflicted madness. Our hearts are the source of magla, of magic arts. Even this new power, this archetype that has awakened within me. Another. I did not know this one existed. <laughs> if this mural had been lost until now, then... Hmm. This paints quite a different picture of the priestess. She looks to be fighting. You suppose this is the truth of the priestess's duty? I mean... Offering her life to quell the calamity threatening the village. <sighs> it had always seemed odd that the Dragon God dwelled within a lance, of all things. Not a sealed urn, but a weapon. My brother of Irum. No, we did not even think to question. You would have died in the name of an era of semantics. The world has not been kind to you, girl. No. On the contrary. I feel I've been saved. I finally see my path laid before me. So thank you. Let us return now to the village. You said you had business with the Lance when all this had settled down, did you not? Yes, but I doubt you'll want to let go of it after all that. We have to figure that out. I cannot simply relinquish it, but perhaps instead... What was that? Surely not. The human from the altar? How has it not perished? I heard it enter the water. This channel leads straight to the ocean, if it seeks prey to regain its strength. Then it can only be headed for the village. Damned beast! So much for taking it slow on the way back. After it! Like the little lady made it, I'll say. Of course. 
But more importantly... Right. We've got a human on the hunt. Del's helping the villagers get to higher ground. Truly? I'd not have expected it of him. That's Fidelio through and through, isn't it? I am Euphasia, the priestess. Thank you for helping with the evacuation. Here on we... Oh, priestess! Lady Yufa, please save us. Um, well, don't you lot get about evacuate. You want to live, do as you're told. Priestess, what happened to the ritual? What of the dragon god's wrath? Did you even perform the rite? Oh, this is a disaster. How can we survive now? The dragon god Et is here as our guardian deity. Don't worry, you'll get your ritual. The real one, that is. The ritual that's been buried for hundreds of years. As the priestess, on my life, I will drive back this calamity. Hold on now. You're not actually gonna fight, are you? Basilio, where's the monster? So be it. We end this here. We can do this. I put the truth to our teachings and rituals. I stand anew. I stand with you. What's the plan? I shall vanquish evil! No, after me! Together then! Let's do this! Everyone who souls of kings, give me strength! Heed me! Let's set it up! Strike truth! 
Still up? Now, I call upon royal power within! Show me true power! This is for the future of the Mastari! Fall! A halfway decent result. I shall rise to the occasion. Huh? I have never known such high. Even I had more to learn. Tremble before me! I am most certainly stronger than I was. Right. That's the end of that. Everyone, once again, thank you so much. What a spectacle! To think I could have evacuated and missed the performance. Yufa, that power. It must be the same power wielded by priestesses of old. My rescuers helped me realize that. You mean to say sacrifice was never the intent of the ritual? The priestess offers her life in service, not sacrifice. She takes up arms and faces the scourge. That is why our relic is a lance. A mural on the altar suggested as much. It's likely the murals of this village don't actually depict sacrifice either. You saw what was inside the temple? What was it? Something the church would rather keep buried? Some other mystical relic? A relic? Hardly. We saw a ruined city of the old world. Evidence of a history before our own. Small wonder the clergy can't send their monks. Anyone who saw that would have their faith shaken. It's all but physical proof that the Sanctus scriptures are fiction. You don't say. We of the islands have done no better in upholding the truth of our past. With all my heart, I wanted to save our village. But all I did was sit and hope. Lady Yufa. I clung to my determination with such fervor. Perhaps without my noticing, it became a de The day you left, Adeni. Even the night father and mother left this world, I could do naught but sit and wait and hope. I believed it was my role as priestess. If I had done anything at all to change it, perhaps you would not have faced such horrors. You can do your changing now. After all, you're still alive, you've got years ahead of you, and you've got friends and family close. You needn't bear this alone. We support her. Without the right of sacrifice. Was... Was that also depicted in the temple? I, is that really the truth of the teachings? Is that so difficult to understand? What matters the murals or the truth of the teachings? Do you believe the priestess fought out of tradition alone? She fought because she wanted to protect us. This village. She fought for you and I, our lives and joys. Is that not enough reason to support her? You made good on your promise to save my sister. Words cannot express my thanks, but there is something that must finally be said. Yufa, I'm glad you chose life. slaying monsters that gets rid of the melancholia. I think it goes away when we help people overcome their fear and anxiety. I have to say, for the moment there, it looked like we'd have more dead than alive. But now they've got the lance, priestess, and the whole sodden village in their corner. Ha! <laughs> 
It's only relevant as far as it matters for Luis's sake, Baz. Remember, we're doing this for a world where your blood don't matter, long as you can fend for yourself. Spoles, but... What about them that can't fend for themselves? Like them village folk you helped save? Reminds me of that Glodell business too. They're tough enough that they don't need dirty tricks. If he challenged them, and they won fair and square. Pack it in, Basilio. Our war may be quieter, but we're still fighting. Hesitate out there and you're dead. Del. So, that's the lance everyone's after. Don't suppose you could chuck it our way, young miss? I wanted to discuss that. Unfortunately, I cannot let the lance leave my side. But to that end, what if I were to accompany you? The monster is gone, the magla made distortion is visibly fading from our lands, the threat looming over the island has passed. That said, if I am to be a warrior priestess, then I feel I must love. Besides, if you were to hold the lance, you would lose your powers of magic, which would be inconvenient. What do you mean? Well, a flow of some protective magla surrounds you. Yet, when the lance nears you, it seems to dispel that magic. I can only assume it's one of Dracodios's powers. What? Hold on. Protective Magla? You don't think she's talking about the King's magic? What's come over you, Strode? You seem distraught. Look, can I talk to you for a second? There's something I want to test with Dracodios. Did you all see that? This changes everything. I'll say. I was wondering how a whole dragon's worth of magla fit in such an ordinary looking lance. Now I. Ah, your pardon, but might someone clarify? He blocked it well enough, but the blow still landed. Our candidate was struck. There's no doubt about it. This lance has the power to nullify the protection of the king's magic. That means, as long as you have this lance, any candidate can be killed. And if Luis knows that, it explains a lot. Then I am well glad the brothers are not present to hear it. What? Maybe this is our chance. We can do what Grius couldn't, and this time he wouldn't see us coming. On our own this time. But we're not the fledglings we were then. This time, we could do it right. You would use it to take a life. Yikes. We've been blabbing in front of Yufa. Doesn't matter. We'll need it kept quiet that we know the Lance's secret. And we can't ask that of her without giving a proper explanation. I was the one who came asking to be included. No matter how heavy or grim your burdens, I would shoulder them alongside you. Sheesh. Not much we can say when she puts it like that. But how would such an assassination be enacted? Those brothers will make damn sure we turn the lance over. A stealth mission's out. Last time there were hardly any guards about and we still barely managed to survive. I'd rather not push our luck. We need some way to keep the lance, and use it to strike Luis down. Well, Captain? Any ideas? How about... we give him a fake lance? There's a thought. After all, the lance has been shut up in a temple for ages. Not even Luis would know what the real one looks like. It is an easy thing to say. But are we even capable of making such a replica? 
If you just need a visual double whipped up, that's certainly within my repertoire, what? Oh, good. We've got a certified craftsman on board. Have at it, then. Give us a lance to turn heads. Yufa, knowing what we want to do with the lance, are you sure you still want to stick with us? I did not falter in choosing my fate as a sacrifice, and I will not falter in this. Please, tell me everything. Well, settle in. It's a long story. So the Prince is alive. I know His Highness can guide us to a brighter future. Laugh at my hopes if you wish, yet... I do not know or love this Prince as you do. But I can tell, by your faith, he is not one to cast others aside. For now, we need to figure out when and where to ambush Luis. Treasonous bastard who cursed him. Well, if we're going to trick him with a fake, there's only one answer. Saint's Day. The city will be chock full of relics by then. Perfect for a bit of cover. Tis the same day Luis plans to attack Forden. No doubt he has the same advantages in mind. The relics will be presented at Alterbury's Grand Opera House, yes? Well then, you could try it while I'm singing. Long as I'm on stage, I can keep everyone's eyes on me. I suppose it is time I face my destiny as well. In the name of protecting my people. I've no doubt my understanding of life itself will be tested. All I can do is hope for your support in my journey. Time to go! Not just the lance, but now we've got Yufa herself. Things are looking up. Maybe you just draw people to you, like the prince did. Strange to think of an understanding of life, though. I get it. It's just not something I thought about until recently. You think a fairy could find any meaning in that? Never too late to find out. Yeah. I hope I'll find my own answer someday. With you on our side, I know we'll figure it out. I will go tell my brother of my departure. Then we shall rest at the inn. Tis altogether too cramped in these quarters. What well, no cramped spaces are the foundation of camaraderie, I say. Well, to each their own. Now then. No. True. already retired for the day, so I thought I'd wait for tomorrow to tell him. But now that I find myself alone with my thoughts, I'm quite nervous. Think you'll be able to tell him yourself? If I cannot even do that, there would be little point in leaving the island. He will understand. After all, he left long before I did. What is that book? Oh, it's a fantasy novel. He's never without it. A fantasy? But what is it a fantasy of? It's a story about an ideal world. Well, so you do not merely strive against evil, 
You have a vision for the world's betterment. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists. Much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. In truth, it is difficult to envisage. All I have known is our own island's history and doctrine and naught beyond it. So, well, would it be all right if I read some? Remarkable. Despite all the people share in common, the world is filled with myriad faiths and beliefs. Accordingly, those in search of spiritual meaning may seek and find many different teachings to guide them. I see. So the people of this world are free to believe as they will. Anyone may follow any god, any dogma. So basically the opposite of the Sanctus Church. Our legends say that the ancient world was full of all manner of beliefs too. The people of Eld worshipped many gods from many pantheons. People confronted the anxiety that haunted them. Thinking back, some of those figures in the temple murals may have been gods. Yes, that mural depicting myriad gods is an explanation of how this world came to be. But ultimately, war claimed everything. I suppose that means it wasn't much of a utopia, right? Perhaps freedom unchecked gave rise to conflict. Either way, to know the past is to ensure history does not repeat. If we are to create a utopia rooted in our world, faith is not enough. We must move onward and take action as allies. Because I believe that's how this must be used. This power that guides us to ideals. To walk forward, firmly, fearing nothing. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Look at this. Your pardon? Yufa, and the mainlanders. What is it? Brother, I must speak with you. Until now, I have understood nothing. But it is not merely the teachings I failed to grasp. I did not understand mother and father's wishes. Nor as the priestess, I am duty-bound to protect our village. And I would do so not with a weapon, but with understanding. Brother, please permit me to travel alongside these people. Your own journey. I never thought I'd see the day you'd ask to leave. We can look after her. My own journey's end freed me from our customs. Perhaps, had I sought comrades and friends of my own to walk with, I would have found purpose. So be it. Go and see this world with your own eyes. As a parting gift, Yufa, I entrust this to you. What is it? Mother's Kakara. With this staff in hand, she would travel the lands beyond our shore, seeking to spread our teachings. I did not know she'd left anything behind. I gladly accept. I must ask you, for what do you plan to call yourself once off the island? What do you mean? I am the priestess of Virga Island. Should I be called anything else? Indeed. To outsiders, we are only the Islanders. We have hardly named the land, much less our humble village. We once saw no need for a name. We had rejected the world outside for so long, we knew but two lands. Those within our borders, and those without. Now that the truth of our traditions has been restored, we may celebrate them. And in that spirit, I would like to name our village. Our home will have a name. By your efforts, there is no longer any doubt. The Dragon God Et is our village's guardian deity. Thus, it seems only right to call it 
the home of the dragon god Et. Etria. One day, after years untold, I hope Etria will be a bustling town. People from far and wide will meet here. It will be worthy of its name. At least, that is my fantasy. I think I've found a world I want to be a part of. To that end, everyone, I look forward to our journeys together. So, you're off to Alteberry. You'll have to watch for the tide, but you should arrive with plenty of time. If you have time yet to relax, our island home is humble, but I hope it is to your liking. <sighs> well then... What now? Not finished yet? Isn't that wonderful? Mission accomplished! you, dearie. <laughs> All right, then. What now? It's all right. Um, well... I'm quite grateful. Wow. It's nothing like Etria. Oh, wait. Do people in Grand Trat have big families? I don't think so. If it's called San Lunio Street, then all its residents are of the San Lunio, are they not? On the island, places are named after the people who live there, so... Oh, maybe that's not how it works there? I'm sorry, I must come across so strangely. Yufa? Brother. I'm learning about the outside world from him. If I remain naive about it, I will only be a burden. Does living beyond our borders make you anxious, Yufa? A little. But I shouldn't be, no? This was my own decision. There's nothing wrong with standing behind your decision. Precisely, yes. The first time I left the island, I was so nervous my knees shook. Really? Is that true, brother? No one steps out into the unknown without some trepidation in their heart. That said, people only fear what they don't know because they don't fully understand themselves. I believe this is your time, sister. You've heard of the Trials of Malnever, have you not? It is an island where a peculiar monster lives, raised in stagnant magla. The monster reflects the anxiety of those who challenge it, and it provides those who overcome it with proof of their victory. 
one such victor, and I gained a great deal from it. I think you could stand to benefit as well, Yufa. You would count your new friends as reliable warriors, correct? Perhaps you might tempt them with the discarded treasures and armaments of our ancestors there. It will challenge you, to be sure, but you'll walk away better for it. Before you leave, consider testing your strength. But... what if it proves too challenging? We'll do it together, Yufa. The weather on my island is unpredictable at best. We won't know how dangerous it will be. I would never send my precious sister off without regard for her safety. I have some idea of how to handle the weather. Won't you put your faith in your new friend and me? Your focus must be solely on the trial. I understand. If this proof you speak of will give me the power to step boldly into my future, then I will want for nothing else. That's the spirit. If you do decide to go, pay me a visit before heading out. I would see you all off safely. This one's important. Yes, that's the place. You know, I wouldn't mind visiting if you the time. This place. Or rather mysterious, isn't it? But knowing you'll be at my side, I admit, I do find my courage. A trial awaits. Please, lend me your strength. Hey, uh, hasn't that island been abandoned for quite some time? I hope the magla isn't too strong. But you'd better be prepared for the worst, okay? Alright then. Let's go! 